New technology is radically reshaping economies, social and political structures. Artificial intelligence, robotics, neural network computing, these things are changing what it means to be human. And change is happening fast. It's only just dawning on us that our news is vulnerable to manipulation. That good workers can lose their jobs because of a poorly written algorithm. That AI can create new and hidden forms of discrimination. These things are possible because, to date, human rights have not been at the centre of this revolutionary change. That must end. As new technology reshapes our world, we should pursue innovation that reflects our national values, equality, fairness, and liberal democracy. And we must also combat the threat that new technology could worsen inequality and disadvantage. New technology is coming, coming whether we like it or not. And in trying to create a Luddite's paradise, we could lose important opportunities to benefit from AI and related technology. The smarter alternative is to understand the challenges that new technology poses to our basic human rights and establish a legal and broader framework that addresses those risks. That is what we mean by responsible innovation. But the very first thing we need to do is to listen to all parts of our community. Today, I'm pleased to launch the Commission's Issues Paper on Human Rights and Technology. This paper helps stakeholders, regardless of their technical expertise, engage with these issues. Practically, this project cannot consider every human rights issue. Our issues paper focuses on regulation in the broadest sense, in uh, the use of artificial intelligence in decision making that affects people's basic rights, and the experiences of people who are often marginalised, especially people with disability. The Commission recognises this work can be successful only if we work collaboratively with civil society, industry, government and academia. And so we don't just invite you, but we implore you to respond to the questions in our issues paper. You can do so via written submission, roundtable meetings and other informal consultations. Over the next two years, this input will help us create a blueprint to promote human rights in technology. We're particularly grateful to the members of our expert reference group for sharing their expertise, and their names are listed in our issues paper. I'm also very pleased to have, as our major project partners, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Herbert Smith Freehills, LexisNexis, and UTS. As we make and consume technology, we are simultaneously the, revolutionaries, the revolution's beneficiaries and also the ones facing the guillotine. As we surround ourselves with ever-increasing numbers of more powerful tech gadgets, we risk sleepwalking into a world that cannot and does not protect our most basic human rights. But it's not too late. Technology should serve Humanity, whether it does, will depend in part on us, the choices we make and the values we insist on. Thank you and I hope you enjoy today's conference.